right. And do you have a question for another candidate? Well, thank you. Ms. Green, Greenfield. Uh, Ma'am, we have, I believe, approximately $7 million or more coming into this campaign from external sources. Now, to get a sense of scale to that, that is more money coming into this campaign than the rest of the nation combined. Uh, actually, it's about half. But it's more money than even uh, Joni Ernst has gotten from the NRA, which is rather preposterous, almost comical. Um, and some of that money, I understand, is going to be hit ads. And just so we know, that money goes from lobbyists and corporate PACs and Bain Capital and businesses, and fr frankly, a lot of it is dark money that gets rolled into advocacy groups, and those advocacy groups then go to candidates. So uh, do you uh, refute or say, or say that these future hit ads that may very well come at any of us that you should call those out and those should be stopped now. And uh, do you have anything else to say regarding this external money source? Well, Dave, as I said, I put out a plan to end political corruption, and it includes ending dark money groups, ending corporate PAC donations, because, of course, they only donate to influence our elected officials. But I'll tell you what, I can't control at this point in time what dark money groups do. I have nothing to say about it. And I think everybody here knows that when you get in a campaign, you're going to come under scrutiny. I certainly have been criticized by everyone up here very publicly. And you know what? I just keep focused on doing the right thing, not looking away from what's wrong, and continuing to put Iowans first. Okay. I'm going to do a follow-up uh, uh, as we kind of work around. But, to, you know, they've all kind of talked about that. But you know sort of the position you're in here. You benefit greatly by having $7 million on the air from Emily's List and Senate Majority Pack. It, while you can, you could just say don't do that, but you haven't, right? You could just say please take those things off the air. They're dirty. I don't want any part of it. You know, Dave, I don't control those groups. I don't even know who they are. I wouldn't even know who to call. Here's what I've done. But you could say I right now because they would know. <laughs> um, just on that last point, though, you know, if, if we were true, if the Senate Majority Pack really knew their money was going to the best candidate, they wouldn't keep pumping it in. And the ad buys keep on coming. Now, the last time the Senate Majority Pack did that, they lost. The time before? They lost. The time before, they lost. They're 0 for 3, so in Mr. Morrow's parlance, that's technically a strikeout. Iowa now sits with two Republican senators. We have not let Iowans choose our, our senators without enormous amounts of outside money manipulating the voters' thought processes. We should stop this, and we should. it should be an outcry. This is a travesty. So, to your point, yes, I join. You know join what? Unfortunately, the thing you haven't done that I have done is build the strongest grassroots team across the state. And I am thrilled to have 70,000 union members endorse my campaign, the AFL-CIO. And I'm asking every one of them to vote for me in this June 2nd election. Because that's how you win. You build a strong grassroots team right here in Iowa. And again, over 19,000 contributions from Iowans in all 99 counties. I'm proud of that, and I'm going to continue to work hard, because that's what you need to do to win back this seat and defeat Senator Ernst this fall. All right, Jim. Hi, everyone. Admiral Mike Franken here. Outside groups have shoveled in $8 million in the Senate campaign on behalf of Teresa Greenfield. Most recently, another million dollars went in to attack me personally. Although Teresa Greenfield won't disavow this money expenditure. They please take those things off the air. They're dirty. I don't want any part of it. You know, Dave, I don't control those groups. I don't even know who they are. I wouldn't even know who to call. Teresa, I googled the number of the group paying for these ads. It is 202-326-1400. Please call them. Tell them to take the ad off the air. Quit attacking my service. I'd appreciate it. Thank you much.